I miss Jennifer and um, I'm actually a professional artist. I've been doing art for as long as I can remember, but professionally I've been selling stuff for around 25 years now, actually closer to 30, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all today how to make a basic color wheel. This is going to be the very basic um, part, first part of learning color theory. You need to know these things in order to mix up all of the colors that you're going to be using in our projects that we're going to be showing you how to do. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do a, a simple color wheel using tempera paint, which I've already got uh, put out here on my plate, a pencil, some different size paint brushes, and a Sharpie marker. Now the Sharpie is optional. If you don't have a marker, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Um, make sure that you have a jar of clean water and some paper towels also because you're going to need those to dry your brushes off in the middle. Okay, so let's get started. I'm using a big piece of paper here, but you can use any kind of paper that you've got. Um, it can be a lined notebook paper. It can be computer paper. It does not matter. Um, that's one of the things I like the best about this uh, project here. Now I've got some styrofoam plates here that I'm going to use to draw my circle, but you can use any kind of plate that you have access to. Just make sure it's okay with mom or your adult before you um, borrow it. Um, and I just use that to draw my uh, initial circle. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paint bottle and I'm gonna put it on the circle itself and draw another circle. So I'm gonna do one, two, and three circles here on my original wheel, circle, I mean, just like this. And these are going to be your primary colors. Now, if you look at my plate, you'll see what the primary colors are. Some of you may already know this, but they are red, blue, and yellow. And primary means that they are the original colors. You cannot mix any other color to get those colors. But you can use these colors to get all of the other colors that you can use in your artwork, which I think is really cool. So now that we've got our circles drawn, all four of them, we're going to use the straight paint. We're not going to use any water or anything like that. And we're going to fill in those circles with our color. Be super careful not to mix anything right now because we just want to have the original color, the straight pigment for this, this project. So we've got red. I'm gonna grab a little bit of blue. Put it in this one. And it's okay if you get outside of your circle. That's not a big deal. We can fix it later, but this is really just kind of a practice thing. It does not have to be perfect. Okay, let me clean off that brush. Oop, if I can. All right, and then we're gonna use some yellow to fill in this last one. Okay, basic color wheel using primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. Now here comes the fun part. When you mix these colors, you get the secondary colors on the color wheel. Now, does anybody know what the secondary colors are? Anybody? Well, <laughs> let's go. I want to show you. I took the top off of my paint lid, I mean my paint jar, and I'm just going to use the lid to draw a circle in between the red and the blue for the secondary color. I'm going to do the same thing between the blue and the yellow and also between the red and the yellow. I'm gonna show you how to mix these colors to get your secondaries. Okay, here we go. We're gonna mix red and blue together first. Now I know y'all know what that color makes, what, that, what color comes out of red and blue, right? Anybody? Okay, well I'll show you. 
There's a little bit of red. There's a little bit of blue. And look at that. What color did we get? Purple, good job. So you're just gonna fill that in with your brush. So red and blue make purple. That is a secondary color. That means it was made from two primaries. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is blue and yellow. So does anybody know what blue and yellow make? This one's pretty easy. You're gonna know it right off the bat. Look at that, what color is that? Green, good job. We're gonna take that and we're gonna mix it and put it right there between the blue and the yellow. Perfect, now, one last color for this simple color wheel, red and yellow. Who knows what red and yellow make? Let's see, take a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow and mix it together. Can y'all see that? That, yep, it's orange, good job. So you're gonna take that orange and put it between the red and the yellow. Now, there's your simple color wheel. What you can do once this is dry is you can take your Sharpie and you can outline each one of these circles and that'll help kind of straighten up those, those little wobbly bits if you want to. And you can also draw your line around to connect them all together. This is just a really simple project and it's really fun to kind of learn about what you can mix to get other things. Now, another thing that you can do with this color wheel is you can look at the colors that are opposite the primary colors. The one that's opposite is called its complementary color. So which one is opposite red? Opposite means directly across from. So yep, the one that's opposite the red is green. So red and green are complementary colors. All right, let's look at the yellow. What's opposite it? Oh, good job, it's the purple. The purple is the complementary color of yellow and that leaves blue and orange. Excellent, blue and orange are complementary colors. These are the colors that you can use to mix all of the rest of the colors that are out there in the world. So I want you to practice your mixing and have a lot of fun doing it. The messier it gets, the more fun you have. Thank y'all so much for joining me at the Artsy Tree today. Please, if you enjoyed doing this project with me, share it with your friends and your family, um, the people that are close to you. We love to share our art with you and we wanna teach you as much as we can um, about how to use that art to create something that you've done. Uh, we want you to have fun with this. Be sure and share this with your friends. Um, you can find us on our Facebook page, The Artsy Tree. Uh, and let everybody know that you had a good time. And if you have a picture of your project that you did, share it with us on our Facebook page, The Artsy Tree. Thanks.